I think we pretty much all know that lithium is one of the secret ingredients into batteries, especially electric vehicle batteries. Now the EV sector has taken off strongly and that has got investors and traders wanting exposure to lithium and they ask me quite regularly how can I do that and I answer well it's extremely difficult if not impossible but there are many stocks around the world that you could trade to get a perspective and point of view on that market lithium through producers miners and in this video I'm going to take a look give you a short list of some of my favorites and focus in on the technical analysis on my absolute favorite at the moment so I'm Stephen Ho trader and founder of the stop hunter let's take a look <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. Now to get that exposure to lithium, you really need to focus on three countries, that is the United States, Australia and Canada to get into those specific lithium stocks. Now there are many other countries around the world that produce lithium, but those three really do offer sort of the best of the best, I think in my opinion, that you can you know, trade and invest in. Also, many of those stocks, those Australian and Canadian ones, can also be traded on US markets as well. First up, though, I'm going to show you an ETF. It's Global X uh, Lithium uh, Batteries ETF, ticker LIT. And it's just to show you how um, the lithium sector has grown substantially over the last couple of years. And you can see from you know early parts of 2020 that was the turning point and that's really where that you know interest in um, the EV sector has picked up from as well and you can see it's gone up to highs around about the hundred dollar mark for the ETF and don't forget if you don't want to you know get individual exposure into stocks then something like this might be of interest to you you can you know trade and invest in you know this ETF as a whole so it's going to give you exposure to a lot of stocks all at once so the big takeaway from this chart though is see that sort of nowhere growth from 2018 through to 2020 and the big pick up through to today so here are my eight shortlisted and I'll quickly go through these before we get on to my absolute favorite so in the top left we have Piedmont Lithium. Then we have the Livent Corporation. Then Standard Lithium. And then Lithium Americas in the top right there. Then Johnson Controls International, bottom left. Then we have a couple of Australian ones, Iron Air Limited and Pilbara Minerals. And finally, Canadian one there, Sigma Lithium Corporation. So that's my favourite eight outside of my all-time favorite which we will now take a deeper look at so my number one lithium play is albemarle they're a u.s company founded in 1887 headquartered charlotte north carolina now the problem with lithium is it's very difficult to get a pure 100 percent lithium play and albemarle is actually a chemicals company you know covers different sectors but they do have a huge lithium segment offering all sorts of you know compounds in lithium you know specialities chlorides hydroxides the, the whole lot so they really are a lithium specialist but with other business parts as well they have a market cap of about 30 billion so they are one of the bigger lithium players and 
they also have great fundamentals and as you can see the technicals don't look too bad either. If we focus in on some of the more immediate technical analysis for our mile, then in the short term at the moment, the last week or so has been particularly bearish. As you can see on the left hand side, our daily high Kanashi chart, just pulling back to the mean of the two standard deviation regression channel. Signals a bit bearish, volume and volatility not doing too much. And if we head on to the right hand side, a Renko chart for a $4 block size, again, signals bearish and you know, price retracing back into the you know pink line box you know breakout setup system there so at the moment short term wise not great but it's the longer term or you know, medium term we're thinking of here you know the increase of interest in the EV stock sector and obviously the impact that has on the lithium market so possibly at the moment a short term buy the dip opportunity for the stock so there you go albemarle my top lithium stock of 2021 and hopefully into 2022 amongst many other really good you know lithium stocks from australia canada you know the us and don't forget the um, etf you know, from global x that i showed you earlier in the video now do you agree or disagree my selection have i missed any you know lithium stocks that you would have included in the shortlist let me know in those comments below and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content i'm going to produce just like this and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video